everybody. Okay, today is uh, day seven of 12 days of Christmas. Oh my god, only a week left. Uh, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm going to continue with the questions here. Um, someone asked me the scar creams that I used uh, right after surgery. Um, I used Bio Oil, which may maybe everybody's familiar with, actually. It's good for stretch marks, scars, and stuff like that. This works very good. You can pick it up at, like, I bought this one uh, specifically. Well, I bought it online, but I've seen it at Walmart. Uh, online, I bought it at Amazon, but I've seen it at Walmart. I've also seen it at BJ's, uh, which is like Costco, Sam's Clubs. You could try those areas. Um, works pretty good. I mean, I haven't really used that much of it. Um, uh, for after surgery, after plastic surgery, I use uh, things like, uh, and, I all, and I bought these online. Uh, recommended actually by Dr. Katzen when I was at Las Vegas. Uh, the meet and greet was Kilo Coat, and these are for scars uh, for the incision, so on the tummy tuck area. Works very good. Um, and Scar Aesthetic, Scar Aesthetic Scar Cream. Okay, and my best one so far is. Essentials MD. This was not recommended. Uh, I actually went for a consultation for my face um, because one of my goals next year is to go ahead and uh, get rid of like the acne scars on my face and stuff like that. Uh, so I went for a consultation on uh, Fraxel Laser and uh, it was at reflectioncenters.com. That's where the website that I found them there here in Jersey. But um, anyways, I showed them the scar around my belly area and stuff like that, and then um, I asked if, they, if that could be laserly removed, and then they recommended this, which this little thing, let me tell you, cost $89, and it only comes with 60 pads. But this has been a work of charm, and this is like the only thing that has like really like faded my scar away. It has worked in like... A charm and I'm talking about I don't know how long I've been using it for like a month and I use it morning and night and it's just like fading away it's like night and day and I love it and I just bought myself another one because as you can see I bought I actually this one is like halfway empty. yeah this is empty I only have like one pad in there so yesterday I went there and spent $89 and this is the only company that actually sells it is their own product line so they don't sell it online or anything like that but it definitely works so that's what I've been using Essentials MD Luminate uh, for my scarring. Um, okay, so the next one is, do you think that you should uh, have lost the weight without the surgery, being that you did all the work yourself and only received restrictions towards the end of your weight loss? <sighs> I don't really know. I, I, I don't know if I could have done it with myself. I mean, the lap band did help me as far as... Um, I mean, I know that I waited so long for restriction, and I only had it like seven months and change out, you know, six pounds away from my goal. But the lap band did do something, and and I guess what it did, it controlled my hunger. I wasn't hungry as much, you know. So it did do something, you know. And um, of course, I exercised plenty, you know. But um, I don't know if I could have done it. I, I mean, I, I really don't know. I mean, I did I did work my ass off, so I couldn't really answer that question, but. The band did definitely do something, and I think it controlled, I guess, my hunger, the, the hunger area, you know, where I wasn't as hungry as much as before or wait, uh, before the surgery. How long did you wait until you could sleep on your belly? Oh, no, I answered this one. Uh, what are some of the, your future goals? I, okay, so some of my future goals I told you already was uh, to fix my face area. I got a whole bunch of scarring you see right here you know, the dark spots from acne and stuff, and I, and over here, and, um, I did do, um, chemical peels, that didn't work too much, so now I'm going into laser, and that's next year, I have an appointment on Tuesday, actually, to go see a doctor for a consultation, and then next year, hopefully, I'll start working into that, and then one of my main goals, of course, is to, um, <laughs> run that marathon with, uh, Wendy next year, 
she's coming to New York, so we're going to be running it together. It's we're thinking of either two dates, either in uh, April or May. One is in New York, or the other one is in Jersey. So we're still debating between the two, and she's definitely going to do it with me. And I think Hua too, who's also on YouTube, is going to come over here to do the run with me. So that's one of my main goals. I'm training for it, of course. Um, and another one of my goals is to do a mile, <laughs> because I used to do it before, uh, a mile within uh, 10 minutes uh, straight, you know. Um, right now I'm doing 4.5 on the treadmill straight, uh, and I have to increase my speed. Um, so that's basically some of my goals for next year. Um, okay, so let's see. Does the port still hurt you? Is This is one of my fears. Uh, actually, since I had the revision surgery, uh, or either the tummy tuck surgery, and they had um, moved my port area, uh, I don't feel my port anymore. I don't know if it really has to do with me not um, being able to have sensation around my stomach area. I'm not too sure if that's the reason why I can't feel my port, uh, but no, I don't feel it anymore. Before I did, it was a problem. Um, and it used to stick out so much where it, it really bothered me. Like every time I would eat, it would poke out even more. If somebody was to come close to me, it would bother me. If I was having sexual intercourse, I would push the person away. If they were to lay on top of my stomach, I mean, yeah, it, it really did bother me. And until I had my my, my, my tummy tuck surgery and they moved it, um, I no longer feel it. Do you find that your goal, that, let me see, do you find that you are more willing to get your picture taken now that you are at goal weight. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god, I, throw me a picture anytime, I don't care. I mean, like, I love looking at myself in pictures now. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, I, oh god, that sounds so freaking conceited. But no, I mean, you know what it is to always, like, look at a picture and feel disgusted and, like, you want to rip it apart and you be like, ugh, you know? And then, like you look at yourself and be like, oh my God, is that me? That's I swear that that's what I say to, when I look at myself in the picture and be like, is that me? Like seriously? So yeah, you can take me a picture anytime. I love to take pictures. Uh, do you still have to drink 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after? I never went by that rule to tell you the truth. I am not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, I, I waited 30 minutes uh, to drink before and after. No, I uh, no, I just don't do that. I'm sorry and. Yeah, I know it's bad, but I just, I don't do it. Sorry. Where do you shop for clothes now? You always look so cute. And where did you, thank you. <laughs> where do you, uh, where did you shop previously? My favorite store to shop when I was bigger, plus size, was Rainbows. I don't know if you got, if that's a worldwide thing or something, but that's mainly where I used to shop. That was my favorite store. I also used to stop, shop at Torrid, um, sometimes Lane Bryant. Now I shop at any store I want, I, I have a lot of boutiques around where I work and I usually pick up my clothes from there or at a mall. I like the Gap. Um, I just go all over. I mean, anywhere I want, I could just basically pick up clothes, you know, anything cute. How long did you wait uh, before working out be after your surgery? How difficult was it for you once you started again? Um, I waited, uh, let's see, I had my surgery on a Tuesday, okay? Went back to work on a Friday. By Sunday, I was working out. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Six days out of surgery, I started working out. Started doing it real slow. I think it was at 3.0. I walked on the treadmill. I did that for 30 minutes, you know. So that's how I started. Anything you do, you know, just start, you know. Give yourself six days, seven days, you know, but just start walking. And that's how I started. And then once I started getting better, I started increasing, you know, the the speed on the treadmill. Uh, I heard you say that you were scared of having another kid because of gaining weight, but you also have the band to control it, right? So my question is, can you depend on the band to help you lose the baby fat? Yes, you can depend on the band. Um, just having a kid in general and gaining some weight back is just my fear. It's just me. Um, I just don't want to see myself up there again, you know, in the numbers. I mean, that's my, my biggest fear. So it's not um, the band's fault, you know, because I know that the band does its job and I know that I could lose the weight with the exercise. It's just that I, mentally I don't think that I could cope with my numbers cr increasing, you know, so that's basically it. But other than that, guys, have a great uh, Sunday. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.